Well, hi guys, welcome to the video. My name's Paul. This is Plan Z. Hopefully you're very well. Now, today is, uh, I'm trying to film uh, part three of my little putting two notes through um, GT1000 send returns. A couple of days ago, and I'll link these videos below, I did a little video where I show you how to hook the cabling up. It's quite important to get that right. Um, and in uh, Part two, we had a look at how you can kind of set up your send returns then in GT1000 patches. But I wanted to give you an idea of what's actually going on in two notes and how I'm set up. And today I wanted to just test something out. So at the moment, I've got my new EQ set in GT1000 on, on my Vox. We're in a low gain Vox, we can go stereo, we've got stereo. We've got another gain stage. Now what I want to try and do is see if uh, we've got the telly, the Les Paul and the casino. And what I found is, is at the moment I've got no EQ on on the two notes. So uh, we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to, uh, I've got two versions of this patch set up. One of them we're going to put an EQ on, the other one we're going to leave flat and we're going to compare them. We've got three different guitars that I want to kind of hear on things. We've got various patches. But first, let's just understand what's going on in, in two notes cab M. So if you've been following, we've got the two. Um, one left and one right. The right one has an SM57 on it and the left one has a, a, a ribbon 121 however if you had just one of these you could do what i'm doing with a, a trs to mono cable um into the send returns of gt1000 you just won't be able to do some of the the blending stuff that i, I want to do in a, over the next couple of weeks um because you won't be able to change the cabinets you'll be stuck with one cabinet even though you can have two mics but with two you can swap the cabinets. So, um, but uh, using the TRS, which is a stereo signal out of two notes, we get two microphones, A and B. But for these sessions, I'm using only mic A on both of these because obviously the send returns on GT1000 are in mono. So they send out mono signal and they receive mono signal. So I've got, um, if, if you put the mic on to uh, path B, you won't hear it in the send return because that signal isn't actually connected, okay? So uh, now, in Two Notes Cab M, you've got different ways of running it. Um, and when you get in, you've, you, you can navigate it with these two little knobs. Don't know if you can see them, there's one there, one there. One here, one here. Sorry, my hand in the way. Okay, and uh, you can't navigate it with this. There's better videos than this one for, for the ins and outs of that. I want to, this is about how we're setting this up for GT1000. So I don't want to waste time talking through how CabM works. There's tons of videos out there. It's an old bit of gear. So, but we're, we're in simulation mode, okay, which means we're, we're kind of, um, you have an arcade mode, which is like a no-brainer approach. But in this one, we've got a bit more control over things. So... What I'm going to do is in on this one on has the ribbon 121 on it. I'm going to talk through some settings that I've got set up the same in both of them, and then when we uh, get to a bit where it changes, we'll cross over to the 57. So for um, uh, my Vox, I've got the power amp set in a push pull EL84. Now I don't know if push pull or single ended, which one would be the right one, but push pull was what I preferred the sound of. And I know it's an EL84 uh, simulation I want. Now, when you scroll over, you have uh, you can uh, select pentode or triode. In a later session, we're going to set up a Vox in pentode. I've got this one set up in triode, um, but you can get Voxes with pentode and triode settings in, in, in your power amp. Then you have the power amp itself. So I've got the volume at 15. So everything's at 12 o'clock, okay? 15 and then the depth of 50, and then the presence of 50. And we'll experiment with this in another video. Um, I wanna kind of focus on different areas of things at any one time, okay, as we're doing these videos, otherwise the videos get really long. The next bit is the miking. And this is where you select your cabinet. So let's go across to where the miking is. 
click in and here we've got the voice 30 which is a vox license silver bell which would be like a i think it's a 1966 vox um silver comes stock in in two notes and then here is where we select our microphone now we can change microphones and we're going to set up different patches with different mics uh we'll do little sessions on that as we go through the different amplifiers but you'll see here we're set on mic a for both and we've got the 121 here and the 57 on the right as we go through to the next page we get our level and at the moment i've just got a 1 db bump on each of the microphones okay <laughs> This is just duplicating for the B path. Let's go to the next page where we uh, have uh, control over the axis of the microphone. And I've got the Ribbon 121 smack in the middle and the uh, 57 at 28%. So that's just, you know, hopefully on the edge of the dust cap. I'm kind of using my ears, it feels like a good place to have it. Now, in this patch, if I remember right, okay, so you can see now that the signal, even though we're coming up we're coming up the middle, we've got no signal coming from this one. The signal's coming from this one. We're focused now on the uh, 57. That's what this sounds like at the moment. And then if I press my buttons, hopefully, this is now the Ribbon 121. So a lot fuller. That could maybe come up a touch, right? But let's, um, before we adjust the levels, I want to look at something else. So what we're gonna do is get back to both the microphones on. That seems like quite a nice blend. But I noticed earlier, and even on here, I feel like I want a bit more poke. So uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, Go to the second version and pick up where we left off in miking. We were at Axis. Axis. Where we've got the Ribbon 121 in the middle, 57, slightly off, uh, uh, off center, okay? At 28%. Now the distance, I've got at 5%. So I've just backed it off a little bit and they're both set the same. We can then, if we want, we can put microphones on the back or the front. So I'll be doing videos where we do that and we uh, it's particularly popular to kind of use like an SM57 on the front and, so, and, a, and a, a condenser microphone on the back of uh, sort of an open back cabinets in particular. So we'll do sessions on that. And also with the mic distance, I've got it at 5%, but we can put it at 100%. If I remember right, 100% is 12 feet away from the cone. So uh, we can do kind of across the room blend. So I'll be doing experiments with that in later videos. But first, I just want to kind of get some amp set up. Then we have the EQ. Now at the moment, I've got the EQ off. So let's turn it on, on both sides, and hopefully, yeah, it's completely flat. There's nothing going on, okay? So there's been no change to the, the tone at all. Now what I want to see is if I can get away with pulling the same move on each side. I want to give it a bit more crispness, so I'm going to start... I'm gonna start, I think, at 6K. Um, actually, I'm gonna start at 2K. I'm gonna bump by one per side. 
and I just want to see what that does. So. Sorry for that pop there. This patch isn't set up for me to... I hit the wrong button, basically. And I did something I shouldn't have done. Let's just have a look at the shape of the cue. So if I increase it all the way up, we can see that it's uh, like a quite a wide bell there. So let's just... Keep ourselves at about two for a second. I've added one dB of 2K and one dB of uh, 6K just to kind of give it some bite. Just trying out a couple of different. No compressors or anything, just the amp, the EQ sets that we've got on. Let's go. got reverb in here but I've got it off at the moment we're going to talk about that in a separate video we've then after the reverb block we've got uh, an overall level for the patch and at the moment I'm running the patches at 0 dB we have a global part but I'll cover that in a separate video as I say there's loads of videos out there that cover how this thing works this video isn't about that so there I feel like I've got my bite. What I want to do is I want to test how that sounds. So I'm going to go stereo, I'm going to go put a compressor on, maybe a treble boost as well. And I want to see if I have any problems with the highs. I want to have a little sound check and see if anything's too loud or too quiet. See see how the casino and the Les Paul sound through the same patches. Let's start off with a bit of a bang. Now, so uh, let's just pull out the cam. 
camera a bit. Oh, we can't quite see. Um, hang on a second. What I'll do is I'll change the camera position when I change the guitars. I'm going to put a couple of loops in. Thank <laughs> you. 
I've had my GT1000 sounding. I really like how that works.
do one last round, stick some gain on the casino. Can't remember what I've got in this patch now. I think I might even have a fuzz. Can't remember which fuzz it is though. Do we have an octafuzz? Let's just save that compressor there. So I feel like I put the amps through their paces there. Really like how that cut through in the room. Everything felt clear. Hopefully it feels crisp. We can hear all the little different things going on in the mix in the room. It feels crystal clear. Very, very nice in the headphones here. Hopefully you've got headphones on. Hopefully you found that useful and can got an idea of how to use something like two notes cab m in conjunction and interaction with your dynamic ed now what's beautiful about this and i was a line six user for ages but ed is dynamic and so is two notes dynamic irs when you use it like this better than a static ir in my opinion really enjoyed that um, felt dynamic, everything was reacting with my gain and tone parts. Um, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy these sessions. Let's just bring that to a close. Ah, oh, rude endings. I'll catch you later. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. Take care, bye bye.